that just like Ryan. Waits until we're almost out, and then he pulls the string. We'll find the bastard. We'll find him, and we'll tear his heart out! I came to this place to build the impossible. You came to rob what you could never build. A hum, gaping at the gates of Rome. Even the air you breathe sponged from my account. Well, breathe deep. So later you might remember the taste. <laughs> you get to the bathosphere in the rolling hills. That'll take you straight to the devil himself. And then all debts will be paid in full. Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Ryan asked, Should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pots? 
Oh, I started to argue with the man, and then I remembered who signed my checks. The only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one. <laughs>
somebody clean this place. Scrub it down. To help when I sometimes I, I, I'm gonna make these kids some things work down here. I like the person. shortage of hosts. Fontaine says patience, Thunderbolt. Soon, the first home for little sisters will open, and that problem will be solved. Tell the minister he'll just have Oh, sugar. I'm spliced up in ways you never dreamed of. Get over here. <laughs> Everything's ready. Flowers, bottle of wine, even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med hypo, just to be safe. Word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Even in the gathering dark, you light a candle. You have saved the little ones when you might have shown your cruelty. I am sending something your way to demonstrate our thanks. Dream time, Mr. Bubbles. For Betty by Mr. B. If you serve that in any respectable hotel in New York, they laugh you out of town. There has been tremendous pressure to regulate this plasmid business. There have been side effects, blindness, insanity, death. But what use is our ideology if it is not tested? The market does not respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. The market is patient, and we must be too.
Gregory, don't come whining to me about market forces and don't expect me to punish citizens for showing a little initiative. If you don't like what Fontaine is doing, well, I suggest you find a way to offer a better product.
might hear things about me. See my name about. <laughs> Think what you will. There was a time I cared about politics. But it's just an excuse men use to kill one another. I'm done with all that. I just want to see the sunlight again. On the surface, I once bought a forest. The parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that I establish a public park there. Why? So the rabble could stand slack-jawed under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise earth. When Congress moved to nationalize my forest. I burnt it to the ground. God did not plant the seeds of this Arcadia. I did. when they're filthy. Sort, but not above doing a dirty job for a dollar. 
If she's still kicking around, I'm sure she's gonna want to save her trees. After all, she planted the damn things. You pray for the satellite! blood and chant, harness the flame, harness the mist, and believe they're touched by the ancient god. <laughs> An aging bunch of frat boys tilting back goblets of plasmids and calling it ambrosia.
Rosa Gallica? Oh, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Send it through the new mode. Anything in this damn place those pagans won't steal? Paper towels, ink pots, witch hazel, chlorophyll solution, even my back issues of National Geographic. They're feathering their disgusting little shrines with it, I suppose. Sick bastards. 
They dress up in leaves and call themselves the Saturnine. Please. They drink human blood and chant, Harness the flame, harness the mist, and believe they're touched by the ancient god. <laughs> An aging bunch of frat boys tilting back goblets of plasmids and calling it ambrosia. Who says you can't teach an old hound new tricks? This batty plant woman spends four years coming up with ways to defoliate trees in the Pacific to scare out the Japs. And now here I am, down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Adam, Adam, Adam. It's bathtub gin times the atom bomb times Eve with a serpent. Let's go see what it can do. ones around to appreciate it are a bunch of spliced up morons. I've cracked the vector, or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit.
place, but mostly rural. If you're looking for something in particular, I'd start at the farmer's market. Also a woman who's not afraid of turning a buck or two. Ryan said if I could boost profits in Arcadia, part of the up would ride on my hip. So I get to thinking, we're paying for oxygen when we got photosynthesizing trees. Hell, we can even sell the extra to the rest of the city and undercut the other guys. Ryan will like that for sure. Fontaine's people have moved into the O2 biz tooth and claw. Parasite 
has his eye on Rapture. Don't be something like me. I look at genes all day long, and never do I see the blueprints of sin. I could blame the Germans, but in truth, I did not find tormentors in the prison camp, but kindred spirits. These children I brutalized have awoken something inside that for most is beautiful and natural, but in me is an abomination. My maternal instinct.